Hello everybody and welcome back to the Static Channel. Today we're going to be looking at a little project that I've actually wanted to do for quite a while now. Wall mounted media piece. So this is actually a pretty simple thing to do. But if you don't know how to do it, it might seem like a daunting task. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it right now. So, here are the things you're going to need. First, a wooden board. Now, the, the size of this wooden board will vary depending on your PC. So, I would recommend something that is about the width of your motherboard and about double the length of your motherboard to accommodate for the rest of the components. So, it'll look really slick and tight and compact, if you get what I mean, but also kind of be like out there. So, that's about the size of this wooden board you need. It also needs to be about an inch and a half to two inches thick. Alright? So, first thing you need to do is gut your PC. Now remember, when you're gutting your PC, you don't need to remove the RAM modules or the heatsink or the CPU at all. Just take the motherboard out with everything plugged in. You're also going to re need to remove the hard drive and the power supply. And, of course, the GPU, which is so important. Now, my one actually had a really weird um, PCI Express graphics, not a graphics card, just a PCI Express card and it's like, it allows you to run actual like satellite signals like a skybox or a cable box for you in America um, into your PC so say if you didn't have one of those cable boxes but you had the satellite thing you could use this PC as a run through which is interesting it's made by ASUS as well, I've never seen anything like it it's pretty interesting also, the graphics card I have in my personal uh, one I'm about to show you now is also very interesting. It is an a ATI Radeon 24, you know, 2400 XT. Now, at first you might think, well, well, what's so weird about that? It's a really old GPU from, I think, 2006 that did well for its day because doesn't have any standard connections on it. That's what got me. I was so confused. He used something called, I think, DS59, which is basically, it looks like a DVI port, but it's not. So you plug in this cable and it gives you two connections out. You can get two display ports, you can get, like, kind of like antennas on an insect. You get two HDMIs, or you can get two DVIs, or two VGAs. Very peculiar. Besides that, this PC was pretty normal, and yeah, that's basically it. It has 4 gigs of RAM, which is just what happened to the PC, but I would recommend if you only had about a gig of RAM, if you're doing an old DDR2 system, to try and up that a little bit, just because, uh, yeah, even if you want to do, like, Chrome, Chrome, Chrome will destroy that. You can have, like, two tabs open, so at least 4 gigs of RAM I'd recommend, but DDR2 RAM is they're cheap, it's like 50 cents a stick. So yeah. Ooh. Let's get into the bit the time. I don't know, is it montage or time lapse? Let's get into it either way. I don't know if you saw there, I'm just interrupting, but I had to use duct tape. 
bloody duct tape. You see, I can't find my hot glue gun anywhere, so just for the time being, because I need to get this video up, I have to use duct tape. So I'm sorry about that, but I wouldn't recommend using duct tape because, ugh. yeah. Also notice by looking back over that, I put the duct tape over the grill for the power supplies fan. Which is not a good idea because you don't want that to overheat, so, uh, yeah. Don't mind me, just ignore that, pretend it's not there, it's hot glue. I also have to use it for the hard drive, and as you'll see after this, I'll have to use it for the I.O. cables. And by the way, I completely forgot to mention this, but I.O. Oh. So what I did was get the front panel of the PC were taken apart and I just tore back the plastic, kept tearing it away and I got to this button that's connected to all these wires that just plugs directly in, like you do any front panel I.O. in any case. And I've got all the LEDs for hard drive activity and the on-off LED, so it's perfect. It's just like you bought a PC case and it costs you nothing extra. So I'll be sure to add this on now with some hot glue. Alright guys, so this is the PC. So you can just hang this up on any wall now. And yeah, that's it. I'll be sure to update the video when I find my hot glue gun and uh, get rid of the old duct tape because it looks ten times better, trust me. And you know, I actually kind of like this kind of scrappy RD look, as I was going for, because I do have way nicer motherboards. They're like black and you know, all that kind of stuff. But I kind of like the look of this scrapyard with wires everywhere, look. And the bare wood that's got scratches on it. You know, I like that dig it, like with nails sticking out. So, yeah, this is going to be my new, ooh, it's heavy, media PC. And, oh god, as you can see, those IO wires. 
Still haven't found that hot glue gun. But anyways, thank you so much for watching my video. And if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. And, you, and if you're already subscribed, well, share it. Make other people subscribe. That's it all. That's it for today, guys. And I'll see y'all next week with uh, the next upload. And uh, I could do with some suggestions because I'm running out of ideas. So hit me down in the comment section. All right, that's all for today, guys. Peace.